Howdy True Crew, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first one, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the website, follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. The podcast is out there as well. On the website, I got a couple free downloads for you, setting goals, fitness, and nutrition. So coming at you today, real quick with a video on why we need more than a circadian rhythm. Right? I understand the benefits of a circadian rhythm, uh, but after thinking about it, reading a few more books, I'm um, actually not even a book about the circadian rhythm or anything. It was a Catholic book. Uh, made me think a lot more deeply about it. And I think we've got to understand that we need more than that, right? This channel is mind, body, spirit, fitness. So we need all three integrated into one. And following that circadian rhythm, the seasons of the earth is only half the battle, right? Yes, we need a strong and healthy body in order to thrive on this planet, but there's something more, right? There's something more to us, right? For those who think um, spiritual but not religious, because I'm a Christian Catholic man, uh, you know, but anyone, even if you're spiritual but not religious, we believe in, they believe in, there's some consciousness out there in the universe, right? There's some consciousness that there out in the universe that maybe you can pull information from. Or maybe it's one great spirit out there that gave us a little bit of that spirit. You know, I don't really know what they believe, uh, but those are a few explanations that I've heard. So yes, the circadian rhythm helps us, our bodies, stay healthy. But we've got to understand that the spirit, the soul that is with, within us, is from some other place, not earth. So yes, that circadian rhythm, eating with the seasons and things like that is, is great and beautiful and it's going to help nourish this vessel that we have. But spiritually, we need something else. Right? You need to find that something else. What is that something else? Once again, it's going to be different, but it's something you need to think about. For me as a Christian Catholic man, I've got my own beliefs and my own thoughts on that. Right? That's where my spiritual path is going. But you need to figure that out as well. What is that spiritual aspect? Because as I've mentioned before, not sure if you've ever seen my other videos, the Christian teaching, the Catholic Church teaching is matter, which is our body, and spirit, right, formed as one in this vessel, is God's first matrimony. The first marriage of man is matter to spirit. And that's why we believe that when you resurrect from this earth, your body goes with you. Because as it says in the Bible, what God, two things God puts together, shall no man break apart. So we believe we will be resurrected in the body. Now, of course, in a higher form, right? But once again, something to think about. Yes, the, the circadian lifestyle, that path uh, is great. It's definitely beneficial. But you've got to find that spiritual path as well, that spiritual rhythm. And it's something that you yourself have to be able to figure out. Right now, for me, it's going to say, maybe look into that Christian aspect, uh, cat, especially Catholic aspect, in my opinion. You know, those who are hardcore yogis, hard, or yoga people, hardcore uh, spiritual but not religious, or hardcore anything. You know, Catholicism is the hardcore version of Christianity. Right? You need to understand that. Even when I start to tell people, when I talk to them, they're like, even one of my, uh, I just got engaged, so I'm planning a wedding. I was talking with one of my coworkers about things you got to do, and he's like, geez, that sounds like some hardcore stuff, man. He's like, I don't know any other uh, form of religion that's like that. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's something beautiful. You know, it's something beautiful. So once again, the circadian rhythm, good. You, you've got to find out what that spirituality is truly about. And just a warning, you know, for, excuse me, spiritual but not religious what it comes down to as well, you've got to understand is, if you're spiritual but not religious, and you're worshiping that one God, whatever, we still got to understand that you're only worshiping a God that you can comprehend, right? So in a sense, you're just really only still worshiping yourself. You know, and I'm going to leave it there. Find that spiritual path. Dive deeper into it. Start to ask more questions. And truly... Find that spiritual rhythm is what you need to figure out. All right. So once again, I, I hope this helps. I hope it gives you food for thought, something that you can 
contemplate on, spend a couple days in prayer, meditation, trying to figure out, subscribe to this channel, share and like these videos.